<laughs> Hi, and welcome to our series, Living with PTSD. I'm Dr. Judy Wesolowski, and this is my good friend, Gail Golden. Mm -hmm. So I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not an expert in PTSD. Mainly, we're here just to share the ideas for people to have. Yes. And um, if you are having trouble and you need help, please seek help. Just don't try to self-diagnose. Shaking, shaking it off is akin to running away from the situation. Uh, it's action. Okay. It moves you all out right. of that. So, Gail, i got a question for okay. you. Okay. Right. Is PTSD an emotional problem, a mental problem, or a physical problem? Two different ways. Yeah. Okay. It could be, it, you, you talk about or think about what it is you want to focus on. Mm -hmm. Then you let it go. And not thinking about anything, you watch something. Um... You watch lights flashing, or you watch somebody wave a spoon in front of your face, whatever it is. You, your eyes go back and forth, and you don't think about anything. So, Gail, today we're going to talk about who is in charge, and how do you take control of your own brain? Ah, right. Good. You can do it. Really? Yes, it is doable. Um, I'm not saying it's it's a snap, but it's, it is doable because you are... In charge, it's your See, brain. Yes, and this is for people with PTSD, but everybody. Mm -hmm. um, if you allow yourself to get hungry, if you allow yourself to get overtired mm -hmm. or stressed out, um, and you've got PTSD, those are amygdala hijack things. And if you've got PTSD, it could, you know, you could find yourself in a cycle where you keep getting mm -hmm. triggered all the time. So using all your detective work, you were able to put the pieces together and it formed a bigger picture. Yes, it did. And so then I know what, what the dragon is. And I do hope that this helps people. Thank you. Take care. <laughs>